Dear students, this is the last module of our course and I'll be summarizing some of the interesting opportunities that exist if you complete your degree in bioinformatics. So specifically, I'll be talking about careers in bioinformatics. You know that Pakistan is a third world country and we do not have a lot of infrastructure at our disposal. Big labs in the US and Europe they have millions of dollars at their disposal and they have some fantastic instrumentation to perform science. However, in Pakistan, we do not have those high resolution next generation instruments. So essentially, we are an infrastructure starved country in terms of science and technology. But to our rescue has come the digital revolution. The data that is being produced from these very, very expensive instruments in US, Japan, Europe, Australia, Canada is now available online. So with the digitalization of this data and its availability through the internet, we in Pakistan have access to this data. So by simply obtaining this, these data sets and processing them, analyzing them, you have the capacity to make novel discoveries. So this is in fact a godsend for us that the investment that is required to buy those instruments is not needed anymore. I think that the emergence of data and its importance as the most expensive and important commodity is going to shape this century for us specifically health related data that is the data that is coming out from patients or biological experiments so this data is going to be a key commodity in fact it is already a very very expensive commodity in the global market so since health and disease are the primordial problems of mankind we, we, we have been facing them since we are born. This is going to be a very exciting time for health data. Now, coming back to Pakistan, this is a very unique opportunity. Because all the bioinformaticians need is a good mind and an internet-connected computer. So once you obtain this data from the internet, and you have the intellectual skill to explore this data, then you can make all these discoveries that are being made in the Western Hemisphere. So this is an opportunity that is beckoning us to undertake bioinformatics even more seriously. So let me give you an example of a one-man company. Given that we have the PDB, and the Uniprot and these databases, interaction databases on the internet, you can simply sit down on your computer, you can study each one of these databases, look at the data that is present within these databases and come up with computational algorithms and pipelines to process this data in such a way that you make novel discoveries. Big companies such as Pfizer, Roche and others, they're already trying to do this. However, given that we in Pakistan have a lot of intellectual potential in computer science, in algorithms, in mathematics, we are uniquely placed to exploit this data. So you can make a one-man company, that is you and your computer, and you can mine this data that is available in the databases and make a product out of it. So this can be a very profitable proposition for you. In this way, you can design drugs, you can treat patients, at least in the in silico world. For instance, now we also have big data from hospitals. So these huge data sets, they need to be processed as well. And you can make another startup company. And you can process this data and predict disease outcomes, biomarkers, 
drug combinations, personalized therapeutics, amongst others. So as I mentioned, all it needs is a basic software development skill and access to these high resolution data sets. You know that once Google came, then there was a major disruption in the world. Now Google is valued at nearly a trillion dollars and others like Microsoft, Apple, Uber, and these new groundbreaking companies are making billions of dollars every day by simply managing the data. Now, I think the next big disruption is going to come from the health informatics world, wherein health information or biological information is going to be processed in such a way that you can come at novel insights, novel drugs, and novel treatments for diseases such as diabetes, cancer, and cardiovascular disorders. Already, very big pharmaceutical companies in Switzerland, in UK, in America, they are investing heavily in bioinformatics towards undertaking such endeavors. Now, towards finding a job after completing your degree in bioinformatics, so firstly, you can get a very good job in pharmaceutical giants, such as Roche or Pfizer. So if you have a good skill in bioinformatics and if you can display your skill in such a way that the companies are convinced of your potential, then you can get very nice jobs within Pakistan and abroad as well. Next, you can work in, in research centers and universities which are involved in biological research and are in a dire need to find good bioinformatician. Also, you can look at the diagnostic companies and hospitals that have now sprawling IT setups and they would want to have a computational biologist or bioinformatician to manage this data and to mine the data that is there within their database servers. Last and most important, you can make your own startup company and you can design a drug and you can do virtual screening and you can make it public after, of course, getting a patent for it.